season 16, group two, here we go. Now she is the queen that wants you to come home, Poppy. So who is she? It's Miss Alexis Mateo. Hey girl. Baby, everybody knows who is Alexis Mateo. I mean, just Google icon, legend, gorgeous. Today I'm giving you Jennifer Lopez slash Mark Anthony. Yeah. After the divorce. Well, you know who doesn't know you? <laughs> you know who doesn't know you? Who? Miss Cracker. Do you remember what her what she said? <laughs> oh, I don't I don't do crack. Crack is whack. And then you commented on Instagram, you said, Well, you dump. You didn't set up dumb, you said dump. And then dump. I told Banshee on the phone, it was the same night that you followed me back. <laughs> I know, I thought I blocked you a long time ago, and I was like, oh god, but I'm gonna have to literally follow her now. I am never going away, because you know why? I am here to stay just like the cockroaches <laughs> and share. Bootleg opinions. Did you know that when you buy a bottle of fragrance, most of it actually goes to PR, marketing, overhead, and only 2% is the liquid itself. So why pay all that extra money when you can just get Dozier? Which is why I want to share with you one of my favorite fragrance brands, Dozier. And I'll turn it a fair way to fragrances. What is that? They take luxurious and high-end fragrances and reproduce these famous brands that are $200 to $300 to just $29 to $59. I myself prefer something sweet and fruity. Which is why today I received the Woody Sage as well as the Spicy Orchid. That is so cool and interesting. The bottles are so chic and minimalistic looking. Plus, they're travel size friendly too. So whenever you're having a night out, just drop it in your purse and go. What I love is that inside the box, there's a card that tells you exactly what's in the bottle. For example, the inspiration, what it smells like. For example, the Spicy Orchid is inspired by one of Tom Ford's fragrances. Let's try the Woody Sage together, shall we? Woody, earthy, sandalwood, lovely baby. Now, it is time for the Spicy Orchid. Glamorous, luxurious, just like the original. I might be actually wearing this out tonight. That just saved you so much money. Oh my God, I'm just gonna sign up right now. So, what are you waiting for, my lovelies? Go to the link below and use my code to get the lovely discount that you deserve with Dozier. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose, baby. Dozier! And a huge thank you to Alexis Mateo because we do live in opposite coasts and we go back and forth, back and forth, try to plan some things. So thank you so much for being compatible with this. Ah, uh, no, I'm excited to be here with you. You look sickening doing drag tonight. I like that. I know. I always try to do drag when I'm with you because otherwise you will rate me like you did last <laughs> you time. <laughs> <laughs> you should be doing drag when I'm not here, girl. <laughs> but we all do drag differently, you know. Exactly. It works. <laughs> but in my defense, though, when I'm recording bootleg opinions, I am coming back from a two to two hour viewing party and it's late at night. Right. Um, my concern is not about my look and getting ready because otherwise I'll be tired for the video. But my concern and priority is the quality of the content. So exactly. that's my little defense. Some of us can't afford assistance. Some of us can afford 10 assistants. <laughs> right. Some of us don't have any assistants like me. <laughs> <laughs> like me. <laughs> no, I would say you have money, girl, because you're on Drag Race Vegas and I'm on Drag Race down the block. I'm literally in nowhere right now. I mean, Alexis Mateo's house drag race. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> She's doing bootleg drag like me. Now group two of season 16. What do you hey. think of this group of girls? Okay, I was very excited about this splitting. I found myself through the episode comparing both groups and not <laughs> the girls tonight. But let's go into detail. You know what? What I love about you is that I don't have to ask any follow-up questions. You just go. You just go. No, you don't have to ask. I'm going to give it to you. No questions needed. Let me give you your flowers, okay? <laughs> Let me give you your flowers right now to my bootleg people. <laughs> I've worked with a lot of queens via camera, right. Zoom, back and forth. You are in my, I wouldn't say like, okay, top two. <laughs> You'll be in top five. Wait, who's your top five? I don't know, you have to think about it. <laughs> but let me tell you why you're up there. Oh, so now you're gonna think about it, but she already know I'm in the top five. No, no, but I, I know you're in the oh, top girl. over there. Well, you just let me give you your flowers and shut the up and stop it. Give deterring. me the flowers, but don't give me a top five. <laughs> give me my number one. Well, oh my God. Miss Cracker, your best friend is number one. So, <laughs> you know what I like about you is that when the camera's on, you understand that it's on. It's right. on. And you did mention something that clicked with me during the pandemic. I don't know if you remember. 
I said I mm -hmm. enjoy you a lot. And then you mentioned that you worked at Disney before drag, and everything yes. you need to learn about drag and on was through Disney. So yeah, yes, giving you flowers. That's my Disney. Yes, it's Disney everywhere. <laughs> You're welcome. I heard a, a thank you somewhere. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, sister. Thank you so much for that confusing flowers you just gave me. <laughs> it was like a read slash compliment. But thank you so much. And you. How was it a read, girl? It was a compliment throughout. <laughs> okay, go back to what you were saying about the group too. There was a lot, a lot of different nationalities on TV. I think representation it matters. And I love that it was a lot of big girls. It was a lot of Latina girls. It was a lot of, like Asians, like black girls. Like it was one Asian. Hey, one is more than zero. So I was very in with this. So the girls were really fun. It was a moment when I was like, Lord, please let it fast forward to the talent show because I'm bored as. F <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it was fun. Can I tell them yes. what you texted yes. me? Can I tell them what you texted me? She said <laughs> in the middle of the episode. She said. This episode is so boring. <laughs> and then I responded back and I said, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't think it was even the girls. Something about tonight editing. Let's blame it on the edit. <laughs> I was not excited as the first episode, but hey, whatever. Yeah. What Alexis Mateo is trying to say is this episode could have been an email. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> a test message. <laughs> From the variety show. Who stood out to you? If there was a top two that you would have picked, who would you have picked? If I had to pick a winner of tonight's talent show, it would be Derek Bear. Why? Because <laughs> she was like the most entertaining. Okay, besides Derek. Well, I don't know everybody's name, so here we go. Asian <laughs> girl with the Asian talent was gorgeous. What's her name? Nymphia wins. Nymphia, gorgeous. I can tell she was a professional dancer yeah. by the way that her technique was incorporated to the number. From the entrance look to the wrong way to the talent show, I think everything was gorgeous for her. So she was my highlight of the day. And also Geneva was just incredible. Minding you, Geneva is the other girl just like me that wore a flag, mm -hmm. a national flag on the workroom. As soon as yeah. she did that, I was like, okay, that's my girl. She representing fully and her talent started beautifully. I mean, it was a Mexica fiesta, baby. So I love that. Yeah. I mean, who don't want to say your drag name a hundred times in a techno song? <laughs> talent. Branding. It's called branding, girl. <laughs> I remember your entrance look. It was the Puerto Rican flag, your hair up, and then a ruffle coat, right? I remember. Yes. See? Yes. Alexis Mateo Stan. Category is made you look. Now, I have a little conspiracy theory that they all got the same prompt between group one and group two. Do you know where I'm going with this? Uh-huh. That they it was supposed to be reveal yourself because watching yes. the episode, RuPaul's comments and the other queen's comments and also the commentary that they were on stage, they were talking about reveals. And right. almost every person that came out was doing a freaking reveal. Was it related back to made you look? Maybe one, Bagami, that was it? <laughs> I don't know. You know how they switch sometimes at the last minute. Did they switch anything on your season? Um, I think it was the 60s on All Stars 1 was changed. Oh, was it the one where like some queens came out in like prom dresses, that one? Yes, and then nobody was like cohesive. <laughs> The skin you're in on All Stars 5. <gasps> Ooh. But of course, some. Um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll reveal for my season because the fans always come for uh -huh. us, especially during that runway on the episode. Right. It was episode two. We were told signature drag, right. right? What would you wear to stage when you perform as your signature look? But when they aired it, it was best drag. I was like, girl, who the hell? Wearing a leotard and bodysuit as their best drag. Yeah, you were like, hold on, that's just not my best drag. Like 80% of the queens on stage were wearing like a leotard. Right. Or a reveal or a bodysuit. So it was definitely not serving best drag. I hate that best drag thing. Because honestly, we all waiting yeah. for the last episode to just <laughs> literally show up the best that's drag. Right. So don't give us best drag on the first day. Let me shut it down at the end. <laughs> they were like, girl, is this really your best track? I was like, I wanted to be like, okay, first of all, that's not what we're told. Number two, you really think I'm that stupid to wear my best track when I'm saving it for the finale? You, how we know that was your best track. Oh, that happened on season 14 too, when they said Mira Mira and everybody was like wearing iridescent color. And then the second one, um, I think it was 
things you worship or something like right. that. But they change it to like Holy Spirit or something. Right. Holy Couture. Anyway, what do you look for in a made you look <laughs> slash reveal category? <laughs> <laughs> reveal. reveal yourself honestly um this is the first time i see the girl so what i'm looking for in the wrong ways is something that define the girl i want to get to know these girls i actually don't even know nobody's name so make me remember you and tell me who you are what i'm expecting from you the rest of the season this is an important wrong way it's like the first wrong way who's the first queen i don't know who she said okay first stop nymphia looking gorgeous and yellow yellow fever <laughs> do you want to say something else <laughs> you know what yellow fever is right she said it in the episode i was like oh my god do you know what do you know what yellow fever is no is it like an illness <laughs> is it like an illness that happened a long time ago it is yes. let me google this real fast it is but um there's a gay or non-gay slang for it when you say Someone has yellow fever, that means they are kind of like having this phase in their life where they're really into Asians. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what a rice queen is? Oh my God, please don't do this to me right now. Do you know what a rice queen is? No, I'm Puerto Rican, I love rice. What do you mean? No, it, it means like <laughs> someone that likes Asian guys <laughs> only. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> There's too many titles in our community and shit, girl. I learned the other day I was not even a bear. I was surprised to say, like, what do you mean? So what the f*** are you? Um, some kind of animal. <laughs> <laughs> She's an animal in bed. I love about her is that she actually gave me from the beginning of the episode to the end of the episode, the essence of who she was to perfection. I love the whole theme about the bananas and I love her hair. Listen, I was literally giving her compliments the entire time she was rating a queen because then I got to see details on this hair. The way that these bananas were made with hair is just gorgeous. And y'all know I like that, sh you know? I mean, it was bananas from head to toe, but the silhouette was really pretty and I think she makes everything really funny, but She's not too campy because she's always really polished. I love her makeup. I love like everything about her. It was super, super cool. For me, she was the winner of the entire episode. No tea. Well, you know. Oh, you, how you they made jealous? <laughs> Am I jealous? No, they made the queen's vote. What do you call a um, Asian queen who's jealous of another Asian queen? Alexis Mateo. <laughs> You think Asian? I'm just kidding. I was doing this because I feel like she should have been in the top two and I was surprised that she wasn't. Oh, I thought you were jealous, girl. Never, girl. Jealous of other people? Never, girl. I am always fabulous and never bothered by other people's opinions, girl. But anyway, Nymphia, love the look. Um, It speaks of reveal. It's almost like watching a burlesque show, too. She comes out fully covered and then she takes off the coat, revealed to almost like a cake of bananas. It was almost like a birthday cake of bananas. And then she rips off this next costume, serving very Josephine Bakers. Whenever I'm gonna see bananas in a kind of a burlesque showgirl outfit, I'm gonna think of Josephine Baker. Always. And then she reveals even more with the tassels and the panties. And this is fabulous, baby. And just like you, we see the signature of the banana everywhere, girl. From the outfit and also the earrings and the necklaces too, wear bananas too. So this is a great reveal outfit. Made you luck. Mm. What I like about her also is that everything was high-waisted. The skirt, the panty, everything was high-waisted, so it cut her body really pretty. Next up is Hershey, and she is serving you chocolate couture, baby. Guess what, y'all? It's chocolate. <laughs> brr, brr. The first look is great, but I think that what could have camped it up and gave us a little bit more of a story of made you look slash reveal is to come out into the chocolate bar. Somehow, somewhat, right. a box maybe, it would have been really camp too if it was the RuPaul chocolate bar and then she reveals it. Guess what? It's chocolate. I love the glasses. I love the hair. I love the shoulders. I love this material. It serves very chic and the back of the opening was great too so that it gives her room to walk. You don't care. <laughs> Okay, she came out and says that she was holding an old school performance cover up. Yeah, the coat I didn't really care for, but it's fine. Honestly, she has it in the closet. She said, what can I wear with this dress that can match the coloring? Yeah. I mean, because it was a cha-cha coat, it's a performing coat. Um, honestly, when she came out, I said, ew. <laughs> the first look of the 
second look. Like, it's horrible. And then the second look for me didn't even go with the reveal. I mean, it wasn't like an office dominatrix kind of girl. I do agree that the link was kind of weird. And it was not just that it was long or short or whatever. It was the hemming of the dress was weird. Yeah, the hemming was weird, yeah. Yeah, it was completely horrible. Her hair and makeup was beautiful. I love the glasses, no tea. But yeah, honestly, I was like, nah. Next. Yeah, it could have been a stronger reveal. But you know what? She does have glasses. Made you look, girl. So I guess she kind of is on point with the theme. She makes me look. Guess it was not supposed to be like, wow, that's the look. <laughs> Next up is Plain Jane. When Plain Jane came out, I said, oh, she got money. Cause baby from the headpiece to the entire cover up revealing thing was just perfection. The material was gorgeous. It was toned to dead. I mean, fit her lovely. I was so excited when she took the headpiece off. We all in my house were like, what would you take off? That is like the crown moment. And then I was like, maybe she has something really fierce underneath. And then she opened up and revealed this. And what's this? Listen. <laughs> I'm listening. It's a no. I hated it. I know <laughs> the judges bought it because they like the whole campus situation. But honestly, when are we going to go back to glam and drag? I mean, we were like literally designers on fashion and glamour and to cut up jeans <laughs> <laughs> that jersey with almost funky now. I mean, I got it. It was funny. It was cute. It was unexpected. She did a great job in that. I just didn't buy it. Um, the first look, I think it's fine. Though, I think the length of this coat could have been longer. Right. The second look, I'm cool with it if they both connect. But both of them just don't make sense. Yeah. Even with Hershey, I give it a pass because it's still kind of the same color palette. So she's going from like the wrapping of a chocolate and then you remove the wrapping of the chocolate to reveal to chocolate, right? Uh -huh. With this to someone who's at a soccer game or basketball game, someone's mom sitting in the corner. Um, no correlation whatsoever. So the first look, I'm okay with it. The second look, I'm okay with it. But if they connect, would have been great. I don't get why if you are planning to wear a blade on the wrong way on RuPaul's Drag Race, why we not paying attention on that line in the neck? Yeah. Like it really bothers me. It doesn't blend, you guys. It really doesn't blend. <laughs> or at least color it, spray it. Sometimes it looks beautiful from far away, but when of course we're watching at home and have a huge TV. Oh, how big is your TV? Uh as big as my ex. Hey. Mine is actually 80 inches TV. I'm watching everything 4th D. So I saw that net coming to me. I'm like, oh, I see where it stops, you know? I think I would have liked it better if there was more of a connection. For example, the first look, right? It could have been an office look. So she has a day job. She's very serious, very conservative. And then she reveals to this weekend look that she's at her child's game, just enjoying herself, wearing shorts, um, low cut and just having a good time. Or we go from the first look, which is something very icicle, into something, a second look that's, you know, maybe summery or even wintery. I don't know, something connecting. Anyway, enough about plain chain. We're moving right along, okay? Next up is Geneva Carr. Now, this is what I like to call a reveal or something that makes you look because you don't see it coming. The first look, she comes out and then she whoop into this beautiful dress. So I like this component of the mask and femme together and we didn't see the reveal coming. So we actually got two separate looks that are connected into one story. The first look, love. The second look, love too. I could use some rhinestones, but I'll give it a pass. What I like about this look, she kept her branding from the beginning. She walked into the workroom all the way to the end. Yeah. Very clear that she was the Mexican descent girl in this competition and she was proud of it. And she's the only girl in the wrong way who costume change stay on her. Yeah. It was no drag droppings. It was nothing left behind. Everything was hidden in her panties. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Can I point something out too? Okay, maybe I've seen a lot of drag shows and reveals before. When I see a reveal like this, this is done really great, right? I don't want to see your coat, your jacket on the floor. No. Right. To me, that's just sticking out off an outfit, right? But I think that right. if you have to, you have to, but I don't want to see your expensive clothes on the floor. Does that make sense? It doesn't right. give me the fantasy of a show. In a real show, 
when you drop something, somebody picks it up. Right. But we don't have that luxury on Drag Race. So your outfit is just basically on the stage. It just seems like you're taking off your clothes. That kind of ruins the illusion. So with Miss Carr, I like it. Yeah, she did great. I love it. And I love that she went from the masculine to the female illusion and the folklorical, just traditional outfit in Mexico. It's awesome. I loved it. Very cute. And she looks really pretty. I thought her hair and everything makes her look really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's cutie. She's a cutie. Ah, uh, next up. Megami from Brooklyn to the world, baby. She was crying the whole wrong way. I was worried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was worried because she was crying. Okay, no tea. But I probably will say something that a lot of you at home were thinking. I said, at what point in this runway walk, these wings are going to open? <laughs> and I still waiting. Probably the batteries were not charged with the wings, girl. So when she pressed the button, <laughs> the wings never <laughs> the came up. The batteries were not charged. I hate you. Her makeup, I thought it was cool. It was really spooky. It was very pretty. The hair, the wings, headpiece was really pretty. Honestly, the rest of the outfit was just a piece of fabric hold by two straps. Call it a muumu dress. I mean... You said Moomoo dress, and immediately I thought about Bob the Drag Queen's new fashion line. Did you see it? Yes. <laughs> it was all Moomoo's, right? In different, like, colors. <laughs> $175. The fans were like, what the f*** are you selling two pieces of fabric for? <laughs> anyway, back to this look. Hey, it's Bob. He can get away with it. <laughs> we love Moomoo's, but this is a no for the wrong way. I kind of disagree because I do like this look. I'm oh okay with God, this look. You, uh, you cannot possibly like this look. Better than the, the one we saw before, which was Plain Jane, including Hershey. She even has supposedly eyes because she didn't have eyes, but we saw her eyes. So she had two eyes and surprise, she have two more. This is why you went home so early. I am so <laughs> done. And this Never is why see. I do public like opinions. Good night, guys. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> Okay, what else don't you like about it? No, please, don't do this to me, girl. That, that <laughs> was just, I don't know. It was like a, like her head was a chicken that was getting a salt and it, a rob in the middle of the street. So the chicken was like, ah! <sighs> and then the mumu was just, was uh, just not even him. On a, like everything was just all over the place. Then she got little eyes. I mean, no, it's a no. Okay, go ahead. Finish it. Okay, let me go in. Yeah. So I think that there's an idea, but some things I would have changed about it, right? The wings, I don't mind that it didn't open, but I would like them larger and stick out a little bit more. You're saying that she's big. No, I'm saying she is <laughs> healthy and eating correctly because she got money for food. Meanwhile, I'm over here Malnutrition, girl. <laughs> Malnutrition. Oh, but you're a model, mama. You're a model. You look like Linda Evangelista. And I smell like Alexis Mateo because I smell hey, gorgeous. So you smell like flowers and hot. Exactly. 81 inches. That's what I smell like. <laughs> like my TV. <laughs> All right, as far as the execution with the reveal, I think it would have been great if she didn't open her eyes until the end. Right. And have her eyes closed, right? Like this. And then, and when she opens, instead of drawing the eye so small, I would have made the fingers lashes, make the eye bigger, so that when right. she goes like, wow, you can see it all the way from the judges' table. Yeah, exaggerated. It's that wrong way. I don't know if y'all know or not. So the judges aren't sitting exactly in front of you. They're sitting to the side of you because the cameras are over here. So you want to make sure that they can see you. But yeah, this is different and interesting to me at least, but some things could have been changed. Everything should have been changed. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Next up, Maya, the queen of flips. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Another lip down. Something was not working to me on this look. And you know what the tea is that I have seen her before? Of course, because she has been viral several times. And she has a lot of very nice looks. And this was weird to me. It was literally a performing outfit to me. It was like a cover up into the swimsuit. Okay, I like coloring. She looks great with the coloring. And her body looks good with the swimsuit. I mean, everything was okay. Yeah. It was not my favorite runway today. But for her, it works. And I do agree with you. Um, I think her drag is better. It seems like this is one of the outfits that was made last minute or rushed before filming and they were like, let's do a leotard and a cover up. But I do think that there's more cohesion to this. At least there's color coordination. Is it a reveal? Wishy-washy. I guess you can say technically it is, but it wasn't impactful. Not really. God, and I thought I was gonna be crazy. 
Never mind, moving on. Why were you thinking you were crazy? No, I thought you were gonna be all sweet and say something, but you really went in. I didn't care for it. <laughs> I didn't care for it. I thought it could have been better. I didn't hate it, but I would never remember this after today. <laughs> and honestly, I hope I don't see it again. You won't. Because this episode's over. But they rewatch, they rewatch it every Friday. <laughs> Reruns! Last up is Miss Plasma, honey. This is a reveal to me, but one thing I would have loved a lot better is kind of like Geneva's, where she drops the first look, and then when she drops it, make it into a gown or something instead of just throwing it on the stage. I feel like that would have been a really cool reveal to make it seem like it's part of the outfit rather than just taking one piece and one piece and one piece. It's cute, it's camp. Something I wasn't expecting from her because from her, I always thought that we were just gonna get runway after runway of just, you know, old school drag. But over here, she's serving us something camp but made it her own, right? Agree? I like the story. I like her hair and makeup. I think she has a beautiful silhouette. As soon as she came out with the tomato pin, it was exaggerated. Cause I feel like drag should be exaggerated all the time. When she took it off, I kind of loved the little silhouette. It was very like peanut mm -hmm. era to me. I feel like she should have ripped the pants off before the bra. Yeah. Because as soon as she ripped the bra off, I got the burlesque theme. Yeah. And then I was already expecting her to do the same thing with the pants. But if she would have done it backwards because her corset was so well done, I probably would have never imagined that the bra was coming off. But yes, I love the hair, I love the makeup, I love the silhouette. I think she was okay. I think she was one of my um, clean, unexpected runways of the night. And I think she did very good also in the talent number. So yeah, yeah. I was a, a good fan of her today. Very pretty. I hated that the tomatoes stay on stage the entire time. So I was looking back to see if somebody was gonna pick it up or not. Magical TV. Girl, they ain't got that kind of budget to hire an extra person to go pick up clothes. Hey, they have that budget. They just won 100 Emmys, girl. They got that budget, girl. It's just going back into their bank accounts, girl. Very <laughs> Could have been, should have been, would have been, and this is bootleg opinions. <laughs> Next category is red carpet looks on group two, where these queens had to walk down the red carpet during the premiere. Listen, this is like one of the best parts of being on Drag Race. I remember you film and then you have to wait like at least six to a year, six months to a year. Now it's four months because they but, film and they just put it out, girl. Very bad. But right. you used to get ready for the premiere, right? It was like the yeah. most exciting moment of the entire time. This is the first time you're gonna be revealed, press is gonna be there, so you dress to impress. 11 they didn't really do it, 12 they didn't do it because we know why, 13 they didn't do it because we know why, well 14 they didn't do it, 15 they didn't do it, well it's back. Yes! Anyway, first girl up is Geneva Carr. Now when I first saw the first few queens walk down the fashion show runway, I was like okay. And then when Geneva comes out, I screamed because she looked so beautiful in this color, in this pageant gown. Although it is just a pageant gown, it wasn't a classic pageant gown that we've seen before. We see the tassels on the arm, the one glove, this piece on one side. Um, and then actually, look at it now in person. It doesn't look that good. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw it from like all the way at the end of the room, <laughs> oh it was God. fierce. But looking now in photo, you don't like it? It's a little bit questionable. I know what you mean. I think it looks crafty. It still looks good, but. I'm not as gagging as I was when I first saw it in the dark. I'm not even gonna comment on this. R.I.P. Okay! Okay, mistake! Okay! Okay, it was a 12 when I saw it in person in the dark from far away. Now it's a six and a half. No, it's like a seven. <laughs> okay, what I like about this is that it's a gown. Yeah. I think she looks glamorous. When you start looking at details, it kind of looked like very homemade. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. I'm like, okay, the tassel should have been thicker. This over here on the hips could have been higher. But anyway, I'll let you speak. Mm -hmm. No, it is very that. Um, <laughs> I wish the corset nude illusion was a little bit shorter so her legs was longer. Oh, yeah, but same. overall, I feel like the hair, the makeup was gorgeous. And I love that she got in both hands gloves in different materials. I kind of like that because it collect the whole look. I mean, gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. It's glamorous. I like it. She did good. She did good. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It just wasn't as gorgeous when I 
<laughs> last one I, I wish you would your face when you realized that the gown wasn't that good like you were describing you said now that i'm looking at it <laughs> it was like okay like uh, what was i screaming for oh my god next up hershey okay i do love this let me tell you it's difficult for a girl to match their skin tone with a nude illusion i think she did a great job here yeah um it's still branding the chocolate illusion this kind of reminds me or something to share my wear like it kind of like gives me a like a Bob Mackie kind of feel. Yeah. And I love that she's wearing a cape just in one arm. It's like, oh, I got one shoulder that is bigger than the other. So I'm going to cover that one only. <laughs> Baby, I'm going to just shave one armpit today because I got a cape. Ah. <laughs> this was really nice. I liked it. Better than the wrong way that she just did. As far as this outfit looks, I think it's very classic, very Bob Mackie too. The makeup is gorgeous. The hair is very sleek. I love that she did something different over here. As far as the cape goes, I wish that she could have used a thicker fabric. Yes, a chiffon would have been so pretty, you know? Cause it flows and again with the hemming. Yeah, the hemming was bad. All over the place. Or you need to literally iron this or send it to get pressed or something, it's weird. We do see in the front that it's kind of like wiggly, right? That's what threw me off mostly too. But if she did use like sequin or something shiny, it would have distracted from the eyes and the focus would have shifted, right? But this is a safe look, it's not bad. I like that, it's not bad, yeah. She did okay, she did a gay. She's gay and she's okay. And she's in white because she's a virgin. Next up is Maya, and guess what, y'all? I love this look. You know why? It mixes gender together, and we got the mask at the top and the femme at the bottom, and everything is just so exaggerated. And this gown, this fabric that doesn't stretch, you can tell that she spends money on this outfit. Right. And something very classic about this fabric is that, although it's not shiny, it's very luxurious looking. Yes. And we got the sheer gloves, the simple earring, the simple jewelry to match this extravagant look. So she didn't overdo it with the accessories to accessorize with this whole look. Lovely. And I had the pleasure of meeting her. She's actually shorter than me. So I found a sister. I really like the look. I could have lived without certain things. My issue with Maya is the neck. She doesn't have a big neck. So we all that have short necks has to work on like accentuating in a shape that we can grow a neck. I love the hair. Like that's a hair that I will wear. And I love the ball gown. I mean, that ball gown is well done. It's beautiful. I mean, it fits her lovely and I love the gloves. But I feel like if you take the white and the tie it off and she just have her skin, I still think that she would have looked incredible. Um, but I don't mind it. I don't mind. I understand what she was doing and she looks great. I like it. She's painted for the gods, baby. Okay. I can see your point. What if she moves her hair to the back so we can still see the shoulder pieces, the tie, and the collar? Would you have liked that better? Yes, it's a lot going on in the neck area. So for you, it would just be to move the hair. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Next stop is Plain Jane. And she's giving us nude illusion. I don't know who's doing this hairdos, like this pull back little balls hairdos, but I really want one. So if you are hearing this, send me your info. I really want a pull back bolitas hairdo. <laughs> I want to collect them. Yeah, it's almost fun. I'm excited that we're getting different hairs. Like, I think like two, three years that came out, like all those like icicle, like, Wigs, yes. they're gorgeous, but everybody started doing them. And sometimes it doesn't match the look. They're just like, okay, I paid $300 for right. this hair, so I'm gonna wear it with any outfit. But it doesn't match. But I like the fact right. that we're getting different hair. So anyway, you go in. It's a simple catsuit, but her silhouette looks great. I know she has little details of spikes around. I love the belt. I love that she accentuated the nipples to make it look more fun. It gives me kind of like a burlesque kind of feel. But at the same time, kind of like a dominatrix. She looks great from head to toe, and I love the purse, just in case you have to fight at the club. You can <laughs> knock somebody out with this freaking purse. Or if you're me and broke, you can also use that to knock someone out and steal their jacket, girl, and go home. <laughs> <laughs> if you find a dead body in the bathroom, it's me robbing people. Baby. Um, yeah, very gorgeous. I love the mug, love the hair, love the accessories of the choke around the neck. Shoulder pieces, really well done. I've seen shoulder pieces that's done very wobbly, it doesn't sit right on the shoulders, but this like literally goes up very well done. The body is sickening to right. take it all the way down to the shoes because we do see the shoes being built into the whole outfit. Very gorgeous. Yeah, no, she did good. 
Next up is Megami, and this is very on brand with her because she's evil, she's dark, and she's all about Satan's best friend. Love the hair, we see the horns, very signature. The shoulders are great, we see it coming out like this, very warrior-esque. And we got this red bodysuit with these platform shoes. Um, it's cool. The staff is cool too. Um, yeah, red <gasps> bodysuit with black straps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. I love that you smile after you said that. It's fine. I'll say this. It's fine. It's, it's horrible. Let's just say it is horrible. I think it's horrible. It's no tea, no shade. Whoever want to fight me, fight me. Listen, honestly, this is a costume. It's difficult sometimes to get a mannequin that can fit this kind of like body types because I had to make mine for a reason. And the fact that she's wearing that flat shoe is even worse. It gets me like Halloween. Okay. In January. I mean, it's nothing fashion about it. I have seen this look before. It's just a cat suit. Okay, no tea. Some girls try the most to be the center of attention. And this is what happens. Goes wrong. Relax, breathe in, be yourself. <laughs> if you're the devil, be a sickening devil. But don't give me this. Even the devil right now is probably down there saying, Oh, she got a lot of nerve. <laughs> Girl, this is my representation from the human race. Yeah, he said, I know visibility is important, but this just got a lot of nerves. Okay, I'll <laughs> say this. I'll say this. For me, it's safe and fine what I would have done to make it a little bit more dramatic. Maybe a cape in the back. Uh-huh. Something dramatic, something draggy. I feel like if it was not a devil costume, if it was high heels, it would have been a hit. I'm okay with the shoes because it still kind of gives me like very, <laughs> I don't know, like very kind of club kit when I used to go out and see this. No, because you like to wear those shoes because you like to be comfy. I do. That's not a red carpet shoe, you know this. That's a Hot Topic shoe. Girl, this is not a Nirvana concert. This is the premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race. It is still hot nonetheless, girl. Oh my God, we're losing it. We're losing it. All right, your turn, Plasma. Who is it? Plasma. Next up is Plasma. <laughs> your face, you're like. Covering feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I really like this hair color on her, it's pretty. I thought you were gonna say I like this, I really like this outfit on her. I was like, girl, are you for real? The hair is gorgeous, yeah. Like a strawberry blonde, is that what it is? And it looks like it's growing out of her scalp, that looks gorgeous. So, literally, it's like a coat. She's wearing a mint green coat with a purse. What I do not like about the look is how short is the coat in the front for a train. Like, did you buy this from somebody short? <laughs> or like, what's the tea? Like, I know you did not was home saying, I got this nude pump <laughs> that I really want everybody to see. <laughs> like, it was like, <laughs> okay, sis, help me on this one. <laughs> Five. Um, the hair I love, very expensive looking. You can tell she spent money on it. You can also tell that she spent money on this outfit too because those feathers are really expensive. The link of the coat, it doesn't bother you? Girl, I didn't even start, girl. Okay, go, complete. <laughs> okay. Hair is gorgeous. Color is beautiful. She spent money on the outfits as well as the hair. Yeah. Um, first thing I saw when she came out on the runway show, it was too big on her. Because the length of the dress, yes, it was too short. But if it was on someone taller, it would have probably been the right length because it would have started a little bit below the knee, right? So it would seem like it's a uh -huh. high front, low back. And then the shoulder pieces that go around the shoulders were too low on her. It would have been fine if she was taller or that same size, then we need to make the train even bigger and the bottom even longer to proportionalize out the top and the bottom. Right. Number three, there was just no waist. It was just like, you know, I get it. Um, she has feathers that give her volume too, because even if you place them here, the feathers are gonna drop down to here. And if you place them here, they're gonna drop down to here because right. it's just creating too much. It poof. The simple way to fix this is just to wear a belt. So simple, but you know. No, the simplest way to fix this look is to wear another look. <laughs> that too. Moving on. 
These girls are so lucky that we help them with these looks. They're so lucky they're getting free advice from fashion consultants. When I was growing up in drag, it was no drag race and it was no bullet opinions. This is the reason why some of my drag choices were that way. Yeah. But now, thanks to my knowledge and your experience, Yuha, the world's gonna be a better place. When you said that, thank God for us helping them. It was almost like a very <laughs> mean girls moment where they're like, oh my God, thank God for me, like doing uh -huh, this thing to that, help them. Oh, that skirt, where do you get it? Girl, I love your skirt. Where'd you get it? <laughs> that is the ugliest <laughs> effing skirt I've ever seen. For real. Oh, Nivia. Oh, I'm obsessed with this girl for some kind of reason. First of all, this is a ponytail. Take some notes, okay? Human too, because you can tell the way that it's like... Yeah, you can tell it's human, and you can tell it's like 58 inches, girl. And it's not three tracks, it's a full ponytail. Oh my God, I would have walked there like I was the only My Little Pony. This is so cool. What I like about her again, Again, we see the yellow. Again, we see the branding. I love the leather. I love that she wear, again, another high-waisted panty with the corset. It makes her body looks gorgeous. It elongates her legs. These boots are pretty close to the yellow, like very close. It's difficult to do, especially when you don't get them made. But yeah. this is actually a very good look. And I love the gold details around. It gives me something very Versace kind of feel and dominatrix at the same time. I'm obsessed with her. She cannot do nothing wrong in my eyes. <laughs> when you said it's giving me Versace, it's because you saw the yellow, right? <laughs> no, because the gold you tell me. Versace oh, prints are always like gold change and something. Like everything is gold. The lion is gold and they put it like yeah. around a lot of yellows, golds and things like that. So this gives me that. Because you know why? What the judges on Drag Race, whenever they see plaid or something punk rock, they always say, Uh huh. Oh my god, it's giving me Vivian Westwood. Girl, that's the, all they can think of. So when you said, This is giving oh. me Versace, I was like, Why? Is it because of the yellow? <laughs> just like <laughs> the judges when they say, Oh, it's giving me Vivian Westwood just because there's plaid on there. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, love the yellow. What I would have loved, and maybe like a trench coat or something, she like opens up. Right. It's a little bit lacking for me, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. You know why it's lacking for me? Because the promo as well as her entrance look was so grand that I was expecting a little bit more than just a dance costume. That's where I'm going with this. Right. Is it red carpet for you though? No, it's not. But it's better than everybody else? Yes, it is. Thank you very <laughs> much. And that's how I just gonna judge this look. And our favorite look is Geneva. Geneva <laughs> Carr. Giving us Mexico folklore, baby. The story between the mariachi into the folklorico girl was gorgeous. But the way that she spin and the dress picked up themselves underneath that skirt and hidden. I mean, it was just perfection to me. When Geneva came out, I did not expect it that it was going to transform into a dress. The difference between the tomato when I saw it and I was like, okay, so the tomato is a cover up. So, but yeah, it was cool. I liked it. It was good. Just because the way that it works on stage. Okay, my top threes are Geneva, Nymphia, as well as Plasma, because I feel like those three had more of an impact with the reveal slash made you look. If the category was really made you look, I would say Megami is the winner, because she was like the only ones that did anything that like kind of made you look that's related to visuals and eyes. But, you know, we really know that it's reveals, right? Um, I feel like Nymphia's was beautiful. Plasma was beautiful too and had a story to both of them. They were like doing a burlesque show, one piece less after the other, right? But as far as execution and a reveal when you don't see it coming, I agree with you, it is Geneva. We don't see the reveal coming, and after she does the reveal, we don't see the outfit on the stage. That it's almost like, well actually it is, it's part of the outfit. So I feel like there's more of a purpose to the look. And our favorite red carpet look is Maya. And why, Alexis? She understood the assignment from all the looks. It was a lot of dance costumes. It was a lot of like, you know, not understandable um, wearable <laughs> issues. It's a lot of but I think this is the only look I, I can actually see in a red carpet. This is elegant. It's a ball gown. It's well done. It fit her lovely. It plays with gender boundaries. I mean, she's painted. She looks elegant. This is literally for me a red carpet look. Same. Red carpet couture the house down. It served red carpet. Yeah, because I feel like some of them were just, you know, dance costumes. Yeah. But some of them did try to serve, 
you know, red carpet, but it didn't really hit. But this one, like, hit on the nail. You know, so congrats, Maya. Yay, and I need that hair. Well, Alexis Mateo, it was great speaking to you about fashion, girl. So where can we find you and see you next? Listen, it was great to talk about that we don't know, so I'm excited. <laughs> right now, I am actually in Las Vegas because I am working at Piranha Nightclub, my home bar, all weekend long. It's Sin City Classic here in Vegas, so I'm excited about that. But I'm also hosting my brand new show, Fantastic, in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Oh, how's that? Baby, it's incredible. It's an Act 2 PB Theaters, and it's gorgeous. So if you guys are planning to have vacation soon in Puerto Vallarta, check out act2pb.com for schedules on my show. Come say hello, and let's have a kiki together. Exactly. If you ever want to take a break from... Just go see Alexis Mateo in TV. <clears throat> yes, and then we all go together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and she will do it in drag, too. Hello. She will do it in drag, too. So we can take pictures. <laughs> Bye! I live. <laughs> Bye, Alexis. Bye, sis. Bye, guys. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead. I support you.